Hello again everybody, and we are just squeezing in, like we always do, a mystery box for the end of month, making this the fifth one that we have opened this year. January through to April, four boxes have re-yielded quite positive results, with last month, if you did watch that, remember, was a shirt and a club that even I had never even heard of, which was um, quite a nice surprise, so it's very possible. It may happen once again. Uh, we're kind of falling into that trap now where I'm kind of expecting there to be something decent in here. Um, but one day, one day there's going to be something pretty rubbish. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, but, you know, with all that nonsense out of the way, let's just open it up. I've not seen it. It has arrived today. I'm doing quite well at opening things that uh, are arriving. Um, and we'll just see what happens. Um, and then, yeah, so I have high hopes, but... Um, that's where they get you, isn't it? Uh, so let's break the seal. And as always, I'll let you lot lovely people have a look at it first. Though most of the time you can't see. Come on. Right, that's a tricky thing. Right then. Moment of truth as always. Fingers crossed. Right, there is the shirt, probably. Hello. Right, it's the cardboard. I can feel the tag, that's good. It suggests it is. Oh, ho, ho. Right then. Based on what I can read here, I think we have a brand new country. Which means, obviously, it's a brand new shirt. And it's a brand new club, I think, because they are saying it's CD Walter Ferretti. And they play in the Nicaraguan Premier League. I don't have any shirts from Nicaragua. I didn't even realize that they were available to buy. I think I may have tried. So, let's have a look. Right then, right, let's remove the box, shall we? Right then, so there is the front of the shirt there. So it has the club crest, which is the correct team. It is medium, has a tag on, I'm not sure. Oh, I think I'm familiar with that um, manufacturer that's it's silver spot and they made the oaxaca the mexican shirt that i have the other kind of wild one so it's possible this might be a wild design they're looking at it it kind of looks like this is going to be red and black but let's get it open very very excited again another team that i've not had and another country which to be honest i never anticipated that to be really going to be a possibility but um here we are so right then let's have a look at the back shall we Right then, so first thoughts and opinions. Um, everything is sort of woven into the material uh, there with regards to sponsors. So we have the manufacturer on the back there of the neck, and then we have what is probably a couple of sponsors on the back there. And then if we look at the front, we have similar things again. So you've got the... Uh, Sponsor on the front there, the manufacturer is sort of embroidered into it. And this is a, like a plastic um, sort of transfer thing, so that's not too bad. I kind of like that. Um, is there anything else? So we've got some sponsors on the shoulders, and then on the sleeve we have more sponsors. I'm trying to see if there's anything logo, like league-wise or sort of uh, referencing to the country. I don't think so. Okay, then. So what's at the bottom there? Uh, it's just the uh, just the club name. Okay, so the the the, the uh, material feels a little bit heavier, I think, than the one I have for the Mexican team. Um, it doesn't really has the tag. So I I mean, I'm guessing because of the club crest being black and red, that's this is their home colours because that kind of makes sense, right? No idea if it's last season, this season, ten years ago. Don't really know anything. So I am going to have to do some research. I'll come back to you with some information, hopefully, about the club, the shirt, and maybe a little bit about the country because it's a brand new country. How about that? Okay then, there is a shirt. And I've done what I think is the best research I can possibly do for this club because it is a little bit sparse, we say, online, certainly on the English speaking side of the internet. Uh, so yes, it is Deportivo Walter Ferretti and it is their home shirt. And from what I can tell, it's from 2015, 2016. So it's not the newest of shirts. And to be honest, I did get that impression when I felt the material. It kind of did feel like it was a little bit older. Like once you started to touch a lot of different clothes, 
and then obviously you compare it between sort of early 2010, 2015 to current ones, there is a noticeable change um, and throughout most manufacturers really. So it kind of does make sense that it's a, a little bit older. Uh, though sometimes if you throw into certain geographical locations, it, it can be a little bit ahead or behind in certain parts. So uh, 2015, 16 makes sense. And then from what I could find image wise, kind of tallies up. So with regards to the club itself, they are a team that plays in the capital city of Nicaragua, which is uh, Managuia. And, um, you know, that doesn't really surprise me, to be honest. A lot of teams that are sort of um, seem to have their shirts flowing around come from sort of the larger cities. The club was formed in 1984 as a sporting wing of the Sandinista Police. Um, so again, it's not too uncommon to see uh, sort of uh, clubs form from sort of um, government part uh, sort of uh, projects, I suppose. Uh, the club was named after Walter Ferretti Fonseca. Uh, this was done following a fatal car crash. I think he died in something like 88, and then the club was renamed in 1991. Um, they have won the league. They've won it four times, most recently in 2017, uh, though they aren't necessarily the most successful team in the uh, in the country. It seems to be that the Premier League, the Premier Premier League, is dominated by two teams. So you've got uh, Diriangan and Real Esteli. I think that's how you pronounce those. They seem to really have like 95% of the, of the titles of those, and then it's just everybody else. Once every 10 years, someone grabs one. Uh, though apparently they did win the um, cup last year. Um, again, it was very, very sparse information online with regards to that. Um, but that's kind of cool. I am just really pleased that it's a brand new country. Really wasn't anticipating that to happen, to be honest. We really get in I don't know, is it luck? I don't know what it is, to be honest. Um, but I am pleased. Um, I can add that to my website, my list. Uh, it's a nice, technically, I guess, North American, but it's obviously Central American based. Um, yeah, that's just really, really nice. It's a simple enough design like it's not going to be winning any awards not going to be featured in gq magazine like the venezia home shirt was um but um you know it serves a purpose and i don't have to sort of figure a way of finding a shirt from that country now so that's another one ticked off we're almost at 100 we're getting there slowly anyway guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the video it's another win in my opinion certainly is for, for my sort of collecting uh, sort of method and motives uh, i hope you guys have a great weekend ahead uh, thank you as always for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.